Welcome back. Jordan's in with sports where it's just another day on the NHL walkout front. Yeah, but it's nothing we didn't already know, really. Thank you, Andrew, with a lack of movement on the NHL labor front. The league has canceled another week of the regular season, raising the total number of games axed to 135, which represents 11% of the season, which you would think would spur the owners and players into scheduling another meeting, but no. No formal talks are in the works. But the league says it can still get a full season in as long as the puck is dropped by November 2nd. Commissioner Gary Bettman said a new CBA would have to be finalized by October 25th. If that doesn't happen, the league will cancel more games and the New Year's Day Winter Classic will be the next big event on the chopping block. So with that in mind, we bring you the latest in Halloween decor. This NHL headstone popping up in yards all across Canada. This one's in Toronto with a backdrop of fallen leaves. Toronto, of course, the only city in the world where leaves die in both fall and spring. And speaking of those leaves, you may have heard some chatter about Roberto Luongo being shipped to Toronto for former Victoria Grizzly Tyler Bozak. Now, according to Canucks GM Mike Gillis, those rumors are not true. League rules, of course, prohibit teams from talking trades during the lockout. But Gillis admits there was plenty of chatter about his goalie before the labor impasse. Luongo has 10 years left on his 12-year, $64 million contract. Tyler Bozak's former team is in action tonight as the Grizz host the Trail Smoke Eaters at Bear Mountain Arena. The Grizz have won two straight and sit atop the Island Division with an 8-4, 0-1 record. The struggling Couchman Valley Caps are in Powell River tonight to take on the Kings, and in Nanaimo, the Clippers face the Chilliwack Chiefs. The WAC sporting a pretty impressive record, but the Clippers have been stingy, just 32 goals against in 11 games. Victoria Royals Tim Traber getting his point across early last night against the Calgary Hitmen. Royals and Hitmen swung a big trade in the preseason with Zane Jones heading to Calgary. It was Jones who opens the scoring against his old mates. Breakaway goal followed by the emphatic celebration by Lanny McDonald's nephew. True story. Uh, the other player in the deal was Alex Gogolev. 20 seconds left in the second. Brandon McGee digs the puck out for the Russian sniper. That's his fourth. He'd had an empty netter as well. A team best 15 points in 12 games as the Royals run the record to 8-4, 0-0 with a 3-1 and one win. Sharpening the old skates will go towards a great cause this Saturday. At Kirby's Source for Sports in Victoria, all proceeds will go to StopConcussions.com. It's a concussion awareness group led by former flyer Keith Primo that deals with the growing trend of concussions in all sports staff at Kirby's will be on hand to fit you for a new helmet or check the old bucket to make sure she fits properly. Uh, there isn't necessarily a shelf life, but uh, you, they do recommend you re replace it every four to five years. The most important thing we'll, we'll reiterate is fit. It, it doesn't matter what model it is or what it looks like, it has to fit well. That's the best helmet for you, for sure. Mm -hmm. Good advice. Kirby's will be open from 9 to 5 and they expect to sharpen upwards of 100 pairs of skates for stop concussions. More than 5,000 pairs were sharpened at store locations across Canada last year. Tonight, Andrew Harris should have little trouble re uh, realizing one of his career goals. The former VI Raider needs just 17 yards to make it to 1,000 on the season. As the Lions host the Edmonton Eskimos, Harris has already eclipsed the record for yards from scrimmage by a Canadian. <laughs> Last home game of the season for Mount Doug Rams football. The junior varsity squad kicked things off at Royal Athletic this afternoon. Rams up big in the fourth when the defense checks in. Tristan Waters with the sack. Rams recover, and it leads to this. Quarterback Gavin Cobb out of the shotgun will find Declan Michelin for the major 47-6 Rams at that point, and that is the way she finishes. Mount Doug junior varsity improved to 2-2 two two on the season. Oh, guys, we're on TV. Varsity Rams observing tradition with their annual rose ceremony where the senior players present mom with a rose. Receiver Brian Dowd says there are no rules. Gives the rose to his dad, then the secret handshake with mom punctuated right here with the chest bump or whatever that was. Good for them. And that got everybody fired up. West Van went three and out in the first possession. Some teams in BC have it figured out, but the ones who haven't, Take note, under no circumstances should you ever kick it to Marcus Davis by 7-0 Rams early in the first. Next possession, Ashton McKinnon rolls to his right and finds Brian Dowds. How do you like that, Mom? 14-0 Mount Doug. The Rams have run away with this one. It's 41-12 midway through the third. Mount Doug on the verge of running their record 
to three and one. Now check this out. High school football from Washington State. Kicker Justin Recal lines up from 67 yards away. That tied the game on the last play of regulation. That's four yards uh, further than the NFL record. Now in case you're wondering, the longest field goal ever by a human was in an NCAA two game in 1976. It was 69 yards. Wow. Magic Johnson has made it no secret. He's an unabashed fan of the LA Lakers' new point guard. Yesterday, Magic was in Vancouver and says he can't wait to see Steve Nash work his magic at the Staples Center. We haven't had a point guard the caliber of a Steve Nash since this 6'9 guy from, you know, played. So, and he's a two-time MVP. And this guy, Steve Nash, I love him. He's one of my favorite players of all time. He makes everybody better. He is tenacious, he's tough, he's a competitor, yet he's one of the smartest players in the NBA today. And he looks like a young Jerry West in that Lakers jersey. Can't wait. Don't hold back, Magic. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, Love the guy. All right.